Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Rebecca Elaine. And before we get into this tour, I just wanted to take a moment to let you all know that the furniture was quite different in here when I first got here, but I decided to move it around a bit. And it took me a little bit of trial and error, but ultimately I finally came up with a setup that works best for me. So if you ever find yourself in a situation where you don't like the setup of your room, just play around with the furniture and do what works best for you. So this is the view when you first walk into the room. It's pretty much an open layout. Um, so you have your living area first. So here I just have my couches and the chair that came with the room. I definitely plan on getting some couch covers to cover this furniture up because it is really dusty and the color is just ugly in my opinion. But this is what we have to work with right now. It comes with a dining room table and a nice TV stand. And it's enough space, I would say, for me. I definitely plan to really um, spruce this room up a lot with plants. I'm going to have my big TV sitting right here. I'm probably going to put a plant on the side. Um, I'm going to get, like, you know, a lot of decorative items. But the furniture that comes in with the room is pretty decent. Then we're going to move over to this little corner. And there's actually this big, tall storage closet. I think that is going to be really helpful. Right now I have my suitcase in there and that's probably going to stay there. I'll probably also store other items like Christmas trees and just bulk items that I don't want to leave out. Um, and then from this corner, the way I set up the room is I made this little mini hallway behind my couch and I set up my office area. So this is where I'm going to have my computer and this is where I'm going to do all of my orders for my business and I'm also going to edit all my YouTube videos whatever um, it's just a nice office corner and it's really you know small but again it's just me um, I was just showing that I had to make some adjustments because initially I couldn't pull the chair out and the chair that came with the room is just so large so I made a little bit of adjustments but it works perfectly for me now so as we come back around now we're going to hit the breakfast bar area it has some pretty decent bar chairs and a nice countertop that I can eat breakfast on and also kind of store some little things on there or put decorative items on top of there. It's a really large countertop in my opinion for a barracks room. Around the side you have more storage. Right now I have storage for things for my business and I think that's probably what I'm going to keep there. Don't mind those cups on the floor. It's just, there's a lot of bugs here, I can't lie. And right now there's two centipedes under those cups because I'm scared to kill them. So disregard, <laughs> but just again, showing you guys the storage that is here. One thing I can say about this barracks room is there is a lot of storage and I really, really appreciate that. So moving on into the kitchen, there's a full size refrigerator. Once again, lots and lots of storage above the, the counter storage as well as under counter storage. Um, we have a nice microwave slash convectional oven. I'll talk about that in more detail in a second here. I believe this is called a glass top stove. I've actually never cooked on a stove like this before, but it works pretty well for me. Like I said, the microwave works very well. It also has a convectional oven that I do not personally know how to use, but I do plan on learning. Moving on, in my opinion, the kitchen is actually a really, really nice size kitchen for this to be a barracks room. I think that I will definitely be comfortable here for the next two years. Without any issue, I'll be able to cook and kind of do things the way that I like to do it. So from the kitchen, there's going to be this hall area that leads to the bedroom and the bathroom. And we're going to go to the bathroom area first. So I was just backing up so you guys can get a good idea of the size of the room. So the light switch for the bathroom is actually outside of the door. I don't know why. And I also don't know what that bottom switch goes to. Um, so as we walk in, this is what we see. We have a pretty nice size sink, um, a good mirror. Um, there's actually lighting. And I'm getting ahead of my health, so, so I'll show you guys in a second. But tile floors. Um, we can adjust the lighting on the mirror right here with these switches. Again, one switch I know works the light, the other, other switch I have no idea what it's for, but it's there. Um, so a pretty nice size sink. It's actually very, very deep so I can wash my hair in the sink if I didn't want to wash it in the shower for whatever reason. Um, a nice bright light in there so that's always very helpful. Under sink storage, there's also some drawers that I think is really nice. 
um, moving over the toilet seat doesn't have a cover so that's weird but anyway we have um, a one towel rack and then we just have our shower again remember guys this is undecorated so once I get all of my household goods I will be decorating this and I'm going to do a separate video um, to show you all how much you can make this space look like a home so this is how the bedroom looked when I first got here. So I did move things quite a bit in the bedroom as well. Um, more so because the door couldn't close that way and I just felt like it was a lot of furniture in the room. I'm not sure if the way I change it around now is going to be how I keep it because there's still like some details that I don't like. For instance, the dresser right in front of the bed. I just don't really have a lot of space right there and so I'm not sure if I will keep it. Either way, this is the bedroom. So you get a nice tall dresser to put your clothes in um, which is pretty helpful again not a lot of space right there the way I have it set up um, then you have a full-size bed and two nightstands on either side of the bed um, it's really a nice size room it's just a weird way that it's made so it's really really hard to um, set up the room how um, like it's really hard to make the most use of the space in my opinion but anyway, you have some nice cubbies and shelving on the bed, which is really nice. Um, so I definitely plan to take advantage of that. Charging stations on top of the bed and also on each of the lamps. So that's really nice as well. Um, I wanted to just give you guys a quick view of these curtains because I actually plan on changing these curtains out. It's just that color is not very cute and again I plan on decorating this room in a way that's going to be comfortable for me for the next two years so I'm going to change that out but this is my view from outside of my window um, I'm on the first floor I don't particularly like that but it is what it is um, in this space I actually plan on putting a tall mirror um, so I might either put the dresser there or the mirror there I'm not sure yet but here's the closet um, the closet has a nice sliding door and inside is where I put the other shelving piece that you might have saw in the clips prior. Um, and this is just where I prefer to just keep like my bags on top. Um, these are some of the clothes that I had in my suitcase. So once I get all of my clothes and my household goods, it might look different in here. But um, I just put shoes in there, some bags, some jeans on the top shelf. Um, and I just felt like that was kind of an efficient way to use the space But we'll see again when I get my clothes because I'm not sure that is the blanket that came with the room So I just have it there for now again more things that I had in my suitcase So I'm really just showing you guys the shelving that is on top um, Again some stuff that I already brought with me, but there's a lot of hanging space um, I have another large suitcase here in the closet and then over to the right is my dirty clothes basket, but you guys don't want to see my dirty laundry. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of space in the closet. It's pretty a nice size in my opinion. Um, the last thing I just wanted to show you all were these um, ceiling fans. They're actually in the bedroom and the living room. And then we also have AC that we can control. But ultimately, that is the end of the room tour. Again, I personally think that it's a pretty nice size for a barracks room. But again, this is the officer's barracks. Um, I can't wait to decorate. So make sure you guys stay tuned for part two where I decorate this space. But until then, thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.